no no blood loss there is actually in robotic surgery there is no increased blood loss the time of operation may be longer normally if we take 6 hours to do a transplant we might take about 7 to 8 hours to do it robotically so it does take a little bit longer and that there is a learning curve there so that might also improve over a period of time it will take, i think it will take nearly the same time I, my idea is most of the same is going to go robotic. All of you are going to come, come and say, say to us, can you, have, can you do this operation robotic? That is going to be the future. Already it is happening. You know in Tamil Nadu there are so many hospitals now offering robotics. In the Mari child, in the, in the operation Pandradana, it's a natural progression. Oh, we are doing robotic donor operation. What next? So it's a natural progression. So the next we thought we should extend this to the, to the patient, recipient operation. So the donor operation has been done everywhere. There are many centers in India who do the donors robotically. The recipient operation in India, this is the first time for, the, for the, any recipient operation. And for a child, this is the first time in the world. So safety concerns is one of the most important when you have a new, new operation that we are developing. And we have put in a lot of thought about this so that we never have a safety concern and that we are able to quickly go in and do open and then sort out the problems. So there are a lot of concerns. We do have a sleepless night before we go and do something new in the world. But at the end of the day, you see the child. That's the end result. Yeah.